All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kodash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all the Akim, push his word with true charity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name and heavenly father whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name with the word and he calls Jesus and Recha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, other Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners, scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm brother Yadiah from the Great Stone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm back at you another lesson. It's going to be entitled, Money is Going Digital, What Does It Mean? You see, and uh, this lesson is uh, inspired by this uh, video. I'm going to just play it and go into the scripts. Lose cash, and this is what we must not let them do. When we lose cash, if we lose cash, and you've only got central bank digital currencies, the computer will know what it is you're trying to do before you even do it, and they will prevent you from doing it. If, for example, they say, you can't leave your house more than five miles, you try and buy a bottle of water six miles from home, you won't be able to. I'm not kidding. That's those so many reasons why you should retain cash. It's offensive that the politicians uh, uh, believe that they have a right to all of your information at all times. With 5G in an urban area, they know within a small number of meters where you are. They know if you're on the toilet or in the kitchen. Uh, they, they, if you go online, they know you're online. If you write anything, I can assure you they know what I write. They know my IP address. Even with a VPN, I can't, I can't comment on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I am censored and smeared. So I'm, I'm on Substack, Telegram, and places most people have never heard. It's so dangerously effective, the censorship. So bottom line is they will try and take money away and replace it with electronic funny money. Don't let them do it. Keep using cash. Every day you use cash, you're throwing a handful of sand in the eyes of the globalists. Do it. When you lose cash, and this is... And you saw what the guy said. You know, essentially he's uh, petitioning people to keep cash. But if you've been paying attention, um, the people that rule it, that, uh, excuse me, if you've been paying attention... All these nations in their countries, they've been pushing a uh, CBDC, central bank digital currency, which is essentially um, a nation a nation issued uh, currency that's going to be digital. You see this. That's the difference between that and uh, like a cash app or a uh, Bitcoin. Those are like uh, privately owned um, like ways to pay. But this. This is going to be issued via uh, actual countries, you know, as an actual current currency from countries and so forth. But this guy, he was basically trying to tell you, like, look, you have to uh, fight against it by using money. But ultimately, these people are being uh, gradually uh, introduced into digital money. You see, that's why they're coming out with these uh, forms of payment. That's why they want you to swipe your card here or tap your phone here. Ultimately, because cash is going to be made obsolete. And when that happens, um, all roads lead back to Revelation, the 13th chapter. You see, that's what everything is boils down to. Now, this CBDC, as the beloved Elder, Elder Apostle Tahar went into, this isn't the MOTB, but this is leading up to it. Because first, the money goes digital. Oh, you have to pay on the phone with this and you have to have the USD. Uh currency or so forth but ultimately it's going to go to a point in which you're going to have to put something inside your your skin thus saith the holy scriptures you see so this is just all so, it, so, so to sum it up this is all gradualism to get you uh prepped for that m to the o to the t to the b this is revelation 1 and verse 1 it says the revelation of yahushua mashiach which the most high gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass you see so what we read in the book of revelation is things that was foresaid to come to pass here in the latter day it says and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant john 
It says, who bear record of the word of the Most High and of the testimony of Yahweh Mashiach and of all things that he saw. It says, blessed is he that readeth and that heareth the words of this prophecy. And prophecy goes in the saying before. It says, and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. You see, so hey, ultimately you have to seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail going into the prophecies. You see, the Lord has declared the end from the beginning. How do we know that we're in the end? Well, certain signs are going to be uh, taking place in the end times, which is a manifestation, a made known sign or token of uh, the end of the world. This is a quick one. This second answer is nine in verse five. It says, for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end is it's like you. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest, is made known. It says, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder, wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. You see? So the end of the world is manifesting itself. So like you for that background noise. But the end of the world is manifesting itself via these signs, you see? And one of the main prophecies, which is a telltale sign of the end of the world, is that M to the O to the T to the B, Revelation, the 13th chapter, in which you have to put something inside your skin physically in order for you to buy and sell. You see, so now you see why money and, and buying is going into digital. That, now you see why uh, AI is being talked about. All this uh, technology is being... Uh, is being talked about so much more here in these last days is because a hey, one of the hey, the hour of temptation is coming ultimately this revelation 13 and verse 16 it says and he calls of all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads and as we always going to that word karagma g5480 it says a stamp and imprinted mark it says a thing carved sculpted engraven work so this Karagma or this M A to the R to the K is something that's physically going to be put in you. Uh, something that's going to break the skin. It says, um, it's like it says, an etching, a scratch, a sculpted figure, a graven mark. You see, and if you grave something or if you go into something, it's like you carving or you digging. Just give a quick precept this X 17 and 9 in 29 it says for as much then as we are the offspring of the most high we ought not to think that the godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone or graven by art and man's device and that word graven is the same word for karagma g54 g5480 um it's the same word showing you that it's something physical you know and uh when you go when you look into like idols and so forth how do people uh, make an idol? They they uh, cut a tree down, as it says in the scriptures. And what do they do? They uh, grave into it. They dig into it. They carve into it. You see? So in Revelation, the 13th chapter, that same word is used there for that uh, karagma, you see? So it's showing you, you know, because you have guys that's saying this and saying that. You know, they're saying that it's spiritual. No, this is a physical mark. Something that's going to be a, a imprinted stamp, so to say. But when you go into it in that karagma, the root of that is um, G5482 Karax, which is a pale or stake or a palisade, which ultimately is the delivery system. You see that karagma, that R to the F to the I to the D, that radio frequency identification device that um, is going to be delivered via that uh, syringe or like a needle, so to say, a pale or stake or palisade. It says uh, to sharpen to a point, and then you go into the root of that is G eleven twenty five grapho, which means to write, um, express in written characters to delineate. Let me see. Yep, uh, by writing to give information to describe. You see, so when you put it together, you look at it spiritually. The scriptures are telling you exactly what that M to the O to the T to the B is. It's that uh, karagma. Is that uh that are R to the F to the I to the D. You see, they're going to put that inside you so that you be able to buy or sell. Going back to Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a karagma, which is that R to the F to the I to the D. And we got to speak in code, man, because these videos are getting a uh, clap, so to say. But it says to receive a 
Krogman their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the Karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You see? So that's why you see these, uh, the, the uh, United States, which is Babylon, according to the Holy Scriptures, moving into a digital form of currency. Because ultimately it's going to lead back into that uh, mark of the beast, that uh, RFID microchip. You see? That's what it's all leading up to. It says, here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six you see but um this is a uh, habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3 it says for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry you see in the vision the prophecies of the heavenly father hey, they're coming to pass right now in our time you see they're speaking you seen the guy talking about how they um, want you basically to have a digital currency so they can monitor everything. And that's what this chip is. Esau, you know, the self-proclaimed white man, he's going to try and um, he, he he's going to try and uh, he think that he is God. He's going to try and put that Karag man you so that he now owns you. He can know what you're doing at all times. He can know where you are at all times. You see, hey, the elders and the apostles. um. I was going to that guy, uh, Aaron Caru uh, Russo, I believe his name is. But um, he had a quote in, in the beginning of that documentary. He said, when you have all the money, you know, uh, it doesn't mean anything anymore. And it, it doesn't mean anymore. It doesn't mean anything when you have all the money. They could just print more money. They want control. They want you people as actual slaves. And how are they going to do so? By putting this C hip into you. That R to the F to the I to the D. You see? It's like the R F uh, ID radio frequency identification device, you see. But um, that was all I had. I just want to touch up on this point. Lord willing, was that a fine call? Halayim la Yahweh b'Hashem Yahweh Shai b'Hashem Recha Kodesh. The bonus to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Citations to Allah. I can put His word with true charity. With charity, shalom. Barakatum. While Baba Ball Kwame Ashala. Shalom.